Outside, Kobe. Bryant is doubled. Nick Young on the wing. The kick out to Bryant. To stop the drought. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up and two shots coming up. Well, when Kobe speaks, people listen. That was the case last year when he revealed his all-time starting five. And he did not place himself in the lineup. Interesting. Look at who Kobe did put in there. Magic and Jordan, you know, the guards. Fur to the three with Russell and Kareem down low. Not really a lot you could argue with about that particular group, Steve. No, it's one of the things I love about Kobe. He's got a great reference in a historical uh, perspective of the NBA. And it shows, Kevin, how much he reveres that era. Here's Turner. He gets it to fall. That makes it just a single-digit lead. Los Angeles leading by nine. Here's Clarkson. He's got ten. Young outside. Just five to shoot. Pass to Bryant. He trains it as the shot clock ticks down. Bryant got five points in the quarter. He shot the ball exceptionally well as they built this lead for themselves here. Zeller setting the pick for Turner. An easy layup after coming off the pick. Turner's got nine points. Lakers have gone even five of ten on shot attempts in the third. Davis with a screen on Thomas. And Thomas over to help. Clarkson kicks to Randall. Releases. That doesn't go in either for Kobe. Celtics trail by nine. Always going up for the alley-oop here. And out of bounds as Los Angeles gains possession. A platoon swap here for the Lakers. Lakers shoot 45% from the field since coming out of the locker room at halftime. I have no idea why he was fouling there. And even the foul, I mean, you can't be wrapping guys up like that. I mean, it just doesn't make any sense. That's a meaningless play. Here's Ellington. And the Lakers with another miss. He slipped into quite a funk here, Clark. I think that's a good word to describe it. I mean, the basket is looking awfully small to him at the moment. And he gets the bucket. The Celtics have gone at a pretty good shooting pace. They're 6 of 13 from the field here in the third. Roten dishes to Smart. Johnson left side. Shot from the wing. That one goes. Come. Johnson's got six points in the quarter. And his shots are dropping right now. This quarter has been very kind to him. Boozer with a screen for Lynn. Leads to Ellington. He dishes it to Johnson. Left side, Lynn. Sollinger against Boozer. And it's going to be a three-second call. Johnson outside. This is DeRoten. He tries for three. Hard work on the glass once again, fellas. They put a lot of effort into their rebound. Well, you get more rebounds, you get more possessions, more shots at the hoop, and oftentimes that decides the game. And it's Hill with the jam. Taking it to the rack with power right there. And hammering down with the two-handed slam. Well, they already had him staggered, and now all of a sudden they're throwing some haymakers. Tony Roden, an athletic slashing guard. He got the chance to play extensively last season with the Sixers, but the lack of refinement on his jumper made him more of a volume scorer. And Roten given the chance last season, Clark, to play through his mistakes and gain some confidence. And I thought his decision-making 
while the question mark Kevin early has started to get a little bit better he's an athletic guard who really does a nice job attacking the rim shot clock at six the eight footer and nothing but hair on that one the 19 foot shot but they'll get another chance and there's the call on Joel Embiid that's his first foul Lakers leading by nine Ellington kicks to Hill now the feed to Lynn Hill sets the screen for Lynn it's back to Hill and Boston with the rebound you know he's so confident sometimes to a fault and that showed right there that's a bad shot exactly I mean that's self-inflicted damage right there. there are a lot better options than what he took up high and down hard with the one hand got a little extra force for that one didn't he I, yes, know, sir. I think he's hoping to kind of get his teammates going a little bit fellas One thirty-three left in the third quarter of the game. Boozer passes to Hill. Again, missing Hill. Well, the shot was there for him, and he had to take it. I don't care if he didn't convert it. He's got to take that every time. Johnson in the corner. Knocks it loose. And that's out of bounds. Boston will retain possession. Four on the shot clock. Here's Sowinger. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Hoosers got five rebounds tonight. And they call the eight-second violation. Too much time getting it up court. Austin making some changes. 51 seconds left in the third quarter. And there's a whistle. That goes on Jeremy Lin. That's his first foul. There's 47 seconds left here in the third quarter. Here's Thomas. Again, the miss by the Celtics. It's been a real difficult game for him offensively, and it's cost him. Outside, Lynn passes to Ellington. Back to Lynn. Six to shoot. He feeds it to Ellington to end the drought. They get it back. Back to Lynn. A second chance effort. And he banks in the layup. I tell you what, the defenders didn't even get a sniff of him on that move to the hoop. And out of bounds as the Lakers gain possession. Boy, did they ever make a mess out of that one. A terrible turnover. Here's Ellington. Celtics trail by nine. And on the court for the Lakers to start the fourth. Inside, it's Boozer and Hill. Jeremy Lin is out there with Wayne Ellington. And it's Johnson in at the three spot. Baseline J on the way. Bass can't get it to go. Well, you have to get a hand into his face because that's his range right there. And here is Ellington. Hill is green on turn. Six to shoot. Boozer with the screen for Lynn. Boozer, double team. No good. Boston shooting from the field. 44%, not bad. Thomas again. It's Lynn. And Thomas, here we go. Crowder kicks to Thomas. A three-pointer, no good. Very poor shot selection there, guys. We're just over a minute into this final quarter of play. Hill dishes to Johnson. It's back to Hill. And he 
takes that one up and powers it through. Boy, he's just dangling from the rim after sending it through there. You can see which team now has the swagger, Clark, right now. Yeah, it's it exactly. Won't. It's with them. Yeah, but you don't want to do too much to get an opponent riled up, though, either. Not as good in the Los Angeles leads. Cut down now to just nine in the basket from Turner. And Los Angeles guys uh, shooting 47%, pretty south. Boozerous green on top. Shoots off the screen. There's the dish to Ellington. It's good with the assist that time from Johnson. And the Lakers lead by 11. Well, you hate to see a guy suffer through a game like this, but his team is winning. Thomas gets the bucket. D there, guys, was pretty much non-existent. I mean, you can't leave a good shooter like that open. Outside, Lynn. And there's the pass to Boozer. Kicks to Ellington. Down to five on the shot clock. And it's Boozer penetrating. Fantastic dunk, and he decided to hang around up there for a while, Kevin. Well, maybe, you know, he didn't want to land awkwardly. I don't know. Yeah, maybe it was a safety move. Or maybe he just wanted to give the photographers a, a better angle for the shot. Thomas, it's a wide-open look. And it's Boston with another. Around three minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. Boozer is green on Thomas. Thomas again, it's Lynn. And out of bounds as the Celtics gain possession. Well, he just didn't make the catch, didn't look the ball into his hands. He must have thought the ball was... Austin making some changes. Roden kicks to Smart. Kicks it out to Johnson. All sorts of time. And there are the Celtics with another basket. Clearly, he's shaken off that cold shooting performance of the first half. And the Lakers call time here. Well, Joe Johnson, a 14-year veteran. Most of our fans remember him back in Phoenix, probably the fourth best player on that team. Steve, just go back to that time. I mean, just scary. Well, if the Suns could have kept him, if you think about what might have been, that was a team that came very close uh, for four or five years to being a championship team, but never got to the finals. So uh, Johnson moved on to Atlanta, where he became an all-star. And uh, you always wonder what might have been in Phoenix. making substitutions here. And I think Doris Burke has something for us right now. Doris? Yes, during that break, Coach Byron Scott had some words for his team. He wants to make sure they stay assertive and aggressive on the offensive end, saying, I don't want to sit on this lead. Let's build on it and not give them a chance of coming back. Guys? Joe Johnson in his second season in Atlanta averaging 25 a game, but that was eight years ago. Last season, around 16 a game. Solid job by them on the glass here tonight. Plus eight in rebounds. Well, you have to rebound to win, and, and that's exactly what's happening right now. Back to Young. But three. And again, the Lakers no good. And age starting to show for Johnson. Below average player efficiency rating the, the last two seasons. But he's still owed 48 million bucks over. Oh, 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 what a throw down there. Oh. Man. Boy, the kind of moment you love to see. Excellent defense leading to a dunk at the other end. Clark, you got to marvel at the transition game when they've got it clicking. It's really explosive. High octane for sure. Oof. Yeah, turning defensive pressure into offensive opportunities. That's what it's all about. Here's Clarkson. He's guarded by Thomas. Pass 
to Young. 